So imagine, dear viewer, you're doing bug bounties and one day you wake up and you find that your low vulnerability, quote unquote, has netted you over $10,000 in bug bounties if you count the swag and GitHub Pro on top of it. Well, this happened to Sajan and after this video, I would really appreciate it if you guys could go to our friend's Medium channel and give him a little bit of a follow because this is an amazing find and I'll tell you why as well. Our friend didn't just try once, our friend didn't just try twice, he kept on trying and eventually he was victorious. In the beginning, he reported a vulnerability. So it all started when he was scrolling his Twitter feed. Really, really beautiful because he saw a tweet from GitHub come in. This shows that if you do bug bounties, it really, really pays off to follow your target. Now, in this tweet, they were outlining that they were using math checks. Not a whole lot specially, you might be thinking, but what is math checks really? Well, it's basically a open source JS library for displaying uh, LaTeX, MathML, and ASCII math notation. And it works in all modern browsers, apparently, with built in support for assistive technology like screen readers. Really great for blind people or people who have bad vision, for example. <clears throat> After reading the tweet, I got to know that GitHub is now fixing MathJack's library to display mathematical expressions in markdown files. So, of course, mathematical expressions, our friend is thinking, how can I bypass this? Well, apparently there was a known cross-site scripting issue in MathJack's library version 2.7.4 or below and it worked with Unicode cross-site scripting which is a beautiful type of cross-site scripting I'll tell you guys more about it if you're interested but in here he thought why not try to craft a specific payload and in this payload you can see that you have the dollar sign dollar sign and apparently those are the math delimiters so you have math expression delimited new math expression delimited etc nothing worked for him though he knew that the reason was that the cpe was only vulnerable for uh, versions less than 2.7.4 but github was apparently using a newer version so okay no luck there he was trying some basic html tags and you know at that time he he was trying that you might be wondering why why would you try basic html tags i always say this as well if you can do it like that then you can investigate further and try to see if you can't find any cross-site scripting because you're going to trigger a lot less wafts in that way um once he basically found a bypass or way to render basic tags using the math expression he's going to try to escalated further as a good hacker should in my opinion i think that a lot of other people are just trying to throw attack factors and trying to see what sticks i think it's much more uh, it's a much smarter way to do it like this and of course you can still spray and pray but if you know what context you're looking in that's a lot better of course now the first way or method of exploiting that he found was really interesting because if you go and look everything after the backslash was apparently displayed as usual so you have a backslash you hello apparently that was underlined so at that moment he's going to test the implementation of math checks and he's found a vulnerability to add a style tag or a possibility to add a style tag. Now you might be wondering, style tag, what is so strange about that? Well, at a certain point, if you can insert style tags and normal HTML code, you can basically build a new website. In that website, you can fool the user to enter their credentials. Log in to GitHub, as you might imagine, hosted on GitHub. Of course, it's going to seem legit because it's hosted on GitHub. All right, so he closes, he, he submits the report, and what do you know, within five minutes, it's being closed, saying that it was already tracked internally, internal duplicate. Okay, 
uh, he thought that was so fast. Is that really a bot or is that like a person or what's going on? So he asked the program, is this quick response coming from a bot or from a real person? And apparently GitHub's triagers confirmed and replied, yes, please rest assured that your report was reviewed by a real person. Thanks for checking in on my humanity. <laughs> All I can say is that my first ever bug report to GitHub closed as duplicate. But as you might see, our friend Sajan is not deterred. He is going to try again. So GitHub fixed that issue within 24 hours. So he thought, why not retest that issue? He was not able to use his previous payloads anymore. But at this point, he found new ways to render items on screen. And that could again lead to the same vulnerability that was found before. So at this point, our friend goes and he's going to, he might or might not report it to GitHub. He's a little bit hesitant, thinking since they're still internally working on this, possible that this might still be known internally, who knows. Um, you know, he, he keeps on trying and trying and trying. And at a certain point, we arrive at this point here where we have a tag with a specific style on it and we're back to our styles. So he creates a payload, a div with style on it and he's going to emulate the login page. Again thinking, should I report this or not? He was doing the smart move and he went back into the original report and he asked, should I report this? Is this being investigated internally? The team replied, Okay, so you did find this. It's best that you report it. Our team is still actively working on fixing the issue found in math checks. However, if you believe that you found a bypass of the current state, please feel free to submit a new bug bounty report, which is the best way for our team to investigate and remediate any issues. If it is determined to not warrant any new action, we will close the report as informative or duplicate, which will not negatively impact your HackerOne reputation. We look forward to receiving your report. And there one complaint that I have, it's probably the negative uh, karma on HackerOne. On the next day when I woke up, I noticed that GitHub team again fixed the issues because the new payload was not working anymore. Okay, so... Second way, bust as well. Our friend is really deterred and it's obvious that he has a red heart beating inside of himself because he goes in for a third round. He is not knocked out yet. So again, he goes back to that original idea, a backslash and then apparently a tag name where he notices something. If he uses a tag name within those squirrely brackets, and he uses a filtered word in front of it, like script, for example, then it is going to actually render the text. So as you can see, the backslash is still required. And then we need to enter like a uh, slash script or slash style or whatever. Um, and then, because those are filtered, and then the text you really want to have rendered. So the final payload looking something along these lines, very confusing it seems, but it's doing basically the same thing. You have your n less than sign and greater than sign. So these are just HTML entities. Um, and here we're going to comment out some code that already exists on the page. We're going to create an input tag, a button and a text area. All in all, everything that we need for a login. So you might be wondering, okay, he probably reported that again, right? And yes, he did. So he reported that issue with a low severity, but this time GitHub accepted the issue as a medium severity and paid the bug bounty of 10 grand with Swag and GitHub Pro free of charge. A general overview, summary of the payload, first one tried just with a style. Uh, needing the backslash. The second one is a payload where we're going to try and enter those tags. And then the third one, we are going to enter a filtered word in it. And then the tags that we need. If you look at the timeline, which is really useful if you guys include that, by the way. So thank you very much, Sajan. On May 21st, 
The first report was received by GitHub and also directly closed as an internal duplicate. On May 24th, it was reported again with a new bypass. On May 25th, the report was triaged by GitHub and on August 20th, GitHub resolved the issue, after which they awarded 10 grand. That is freaking awesome. I would definitely recommend to give our friend a little bit of a follow because he deserves it and that was a great find. Really, really well done keeping your eyes open. And I hope you guys have been inspired a little bit to go hunt yourselves. I wish you all the best of luck in the world, my rats. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, amazing hackers.